Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons, but today's video is not going to be related to genetics, but today we are going to talk about law of probability and here's a problem. Two dice are tossed, the probability that the total score is prime number is and you have to choose one of these answers. Unlike as usual I show straightforward solution, I won't start today with common mistakes that people usually do solving such type of problems. For example, they start with listing all the numbers like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. And here's the first mistake because when we toss two dice we cannot get one because minimum what we can get is two. Two dice with one on each side would give us two. So we have to cross this one. Now let's think which numbers here are prime numbers. And prime numbers are such numbers that only can be get by multiplying this number by itself and one. So let's circle. For example, we can get two only by multiplying two numbers like two and one. We also can get 3 by multiplying 3 and 1. So it's also a prime number. But 4 is not a prime number because we can get it by multiplying 2 and 2. Next is going to be 5 is also a prime number because we can get this number by multiplying 5 and 1 and no any other numbers. Next is going to be 6 and it is not a prime number because we can get 6 for example multiplying 2 and 3. Next goes 7 and it is a prime number. We can get it only by multiplying 7 and 1. And next would be 11. We can get this number only by multiplying 11 and 1. And all this are not prime numbers because for example we can get 8 by multiplying 2 by 2 by 2 or 4 by 2, 3 by 3, 5 by 2, 6 by 2 and so on. Some people may think as follows. So how many prime numbers we have? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And how many numbers total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So probability to get prime number would be 5 out of 11. But take a look, we don't have such an answer here. So this is wrong answer. And here is why. Let me explain. Imagine that we have uh, one die with six sides and one, two, three, four, five and six would represent all six sides of this die. And we have also another die with six sides. So one, two, three, four, five and six would represent this second die. Now let's build simple Punnett square. It's going to be 6 by 6. And this is going to be uh, our sample space. So we are going to have 6 rows and we are going to have 6 columns. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now let me put all the numbers inside. So imagine if we got 1 for one die and 1 for another die, uh, the total score is going to be 2. So here is going to be 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. 1 and 2 is also going to be 3, 2 and 2, 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8. Next uh, 1 and 3 is going to be 4. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. And here we are going to get 5, 6, 
7, 8, 9, and 10. And 6 here, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12 here. Now let's highlight all the prime numbers and we know prime numbers that are circle here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, and 15. So our answer have to be 15 out of what is our sample space is going to be 6 by 6 is going to be 36. So out of 36. And as you see, we can divide both numerator and denominator by 3. So we are going to get 5 over 12. And this is going to be our answer. And this is answer B. Thank you for your attention. This is all for today and see you in the next video. Goodbye.